good Tuesday morning. It's been a few days. <coughs> I did make videos, but for some reason, they wouldn't upload. Um, iMovie was not trying to let me upload anything. Um, except my memory was full, so I deleted some things and they still wouldn't upload the videos. So the last video I uploaded was from Thursday. Um, Thursday, Friday, I believe. Um, the day, the two days that um, it was to buy the car. Wednesday, Thursday, or something like that. I don't remember. Um, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. So on Friday, I, me and my husband were off. We left to go to Utah. On the drive to Utah, um, it was... Let's see. It was an eight-hour drive. On the drive, I um, ended up getting a chip in my window, my windshield, so I have an appointment on Thursday for that. Um, as well as uh, um, I made an appointment for the 25th of September to take the car for maintenance. We got several humongous bug splatters on the windshield and I tried to use the windshield washer fluid and one of the sprayers is not working and the other one's like a little trickly and um, <coughs> one of my tail lights for when you hit the alarm and the trunk opens it's kind of loose so um, just minor things and it's all free to fix um, CarMax has a very good warranty um, for when you first buy the car and up until 125,000 miles, which I know in that video I was kind of back and forth with the mileage. Um, as of right now, it's 79,381 miles, but when I bought it, it has 78,000 and some change. So the added mileage was from when we went to Utah, obviously. Um, um I took some cold cuts. I bought ham and some hard salami and turkey along with mayonnaise and mustard and instead of me bringing the egg life wraps that I thought I brought with me, I ended up having the mission low carb wraps instead. So we had, I had several wraps, maybe two wraps going, two wraps coming and a couple of wraps while I was there at the hotel. Um, we were in Midville, uh, Utah, which is in Salt Lake City, and um, I did good on the road trip going until um, I stopped for snacks for my husband, and I ended up having a few chips. I left to go on the trip at 260. I was holding at 260 for like a while. Um, got there the night that we got there I ended up ordering some McDonald's chicken nuggets for my husband and son <coughs> I had a few nuggets I did drink my element I did drink my chocolate keto chow shake um, because the room did have a microwave and a refrigerator so we're able to keep our things in the refrigerator while we were there then I got hungry like I was good the whole entire trip so I ordered DoorDash not DoorDash I um ordered the stuffed cheesy crust pepperoni new thing from Domino's and ordered a cinnamon twist I had two pieces of the cinnamon I had two pieces of the pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread and one cinnamon twist and it pretty much stayed in the hotel the entire two days that we were there um my husband and my son were picking at it as well he ended up throwing a lot of it away we just were we're tired we were tired so um all day friday we were traveling so saturday the day of the wedding um 
actually, no, Friday night when we got there, we realized we brought our charger cords, but not our charger boxes. So I had went out to, um, I initially was going to go to Walmart, but I ended up going to Five Below and the Dollar Tree. Here in Reno, we don't have a Five Below. I'm not, I don't think, um, but uh, I went in there and I found two charger boxes, the USB charger boxes, and also the USB to C. They're only five dollars each, five below. Then I found a Jack Skeleton bobblehead, solar bobblehead, and I got that. It was only five dollars. I bought my husband um, some Pokemon cards, and then I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some drinks and things like that for the baby, some milk. And then we went, came back home and didn't crashed. So Saturday morning, I got up and I went to Walmart. I just wanted, you know, I bought an Apple Watch wristband here before I left. I didn't check it to see if it had, you know, everything that it needed. So it didn't. Um, and I was wondering why it was marked down, but whatever. I exchanged it at that Walmart in Midville. While I was there, walking around, you know, because I was able to use my um, my snap card there to buy food for the room. So I ended up buying some stuff for the baby and um, my husband they have. Because at that point, the guilt was already setting in for me. <coughs> so, um, on one of their clearance sections, I ended up seeing butter in a can. It was discounted creamery butter in a can. I don't know if I still have a picture of it, but um, I'll try to see and I'll insert it in here. And I posted it on the group that I follow, All Things Keto with Christy. And a couple of people were in there were like, that's good butter, because I've never seen it butter. I mean, I saw, I saw the Amish roll, I saw the tubs and the bricks and things like that, but I've never seen it in an actual can. Anyway, um, it was on clearance for $6.50 a can. And one of the girls in the group mentioned that it's usually $17 a can for that particular size. So the next day, which was Sunday, the day we were leaving out, I went back and I grabbed two. But Saturday, going back to Saturday, the day of the wedding, um, while we were at Walmart, my brother-in-law called us and, you know, he asked us if we can go to the venue at about 2.33 o'clock because the wedding wasn't going to be till 6.37 o'clock. But we can help, you know, set up. So we said, sure. So we got there and um, we were like the first people there. We didn't have anything to set up. We were just going there to help. And um, in the same plaza where the venue was taking place, there was an Asian market. So we go in there just to walk around the sea and they had um, duck and a whole roast pork shoulder hanging in their little um, meat warmer section. So you know your girl got some uh, Korean um, pork belly. Like, it was delicious. So I ended up snacking on that and I hadn't had anything to eat that day except for a package of the banquet sausages that I had heated up in the microwave and I finished like the last few swallows of my keto chow. I have my last keto chow with me today which is a salt uh, which is a caramel macchiato and um, I'm gonna order when I get paid because I won't have any keto chow until I get paid I'm gonna order the surprise box um, the monthly su subscription surprise box <coughs> Anyways, um, after a while, we're sitting in the parking lot, and then um, the bride's mother and father show up, and everybody else starts to show up. They're trickling in gradually. Now, I introdu we introduce ourselves to her mother and father, and we start helping them, you know, bring things upstairs to the venue and things like that. Then all of a sudden, her aunts and her sisters show up. Listen. I don't know what, you know, I love my sister-in-law. I've met her previously.
graciously, so I've already got to meet her temperament and things like that. And, you know, she's a very beautiful person. Her family, on the other hand, were just too much. They were, they were being extra. They were being just overboard, you know. And it's not even her entire family. I think it was just my, primarily her, the one sister. First, she asked me, um, can I open up the office? Can I do this? Can I do that? I'm like, um, I don't work here. I am the groom's sister-in-law. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I thought you worked here. Mind you, I'm in a dress. We we're all dressed up for the wedding. So she was just all over the place and she was rude, she was snappy, she was moody, she was acting like it was her wedding day. She was trying to rearrange things her way and then when her sister got there, the bride, she rearranged everything the way that she wanted. And we were trying to tell her to call the bride and find out how she wants things. She's like, oh no, I know my sister's not. Anyway, long story short, and long story. So then, um, you know, they have the wedding ceremony. It was a beautiful ceremony. They had a sage blessing and things like that. Then, um, Junior had the chance to meet his brother, his uncle, which is my brother-in-law. His dad also came in. So, Junior got to meet his grandpa and his grandma, you know, and things like that. And his little cousin. So, he had a very nice time. Junior showed his ass. Okay. Now, what did they have to eat at the venue? They had brisket, they had Tuscan chicken, they had shrimp pasta and potatoes. I And also two different types of salad. They had a garden salad and a Caesar salad. I had some brisket, I had the Tuscan chicken, and I had a side Caesar salad. My husband and the baby had everything else. They also had a chocolate fondue station to where they had um, strawberries, raspberries, cantaloupe, pineapple, and banana then they had a bread station and then they had the salad station now um, this is where things start to go a little extra crazy so I go and um, I go to the bar after the ceremony and I order me a vodka cranberry. After the vodka cranberry, um, I think I had two vodka cranberries first. Then I had a Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Then I had a cake pop. I had one and a half puff pastries. <sighs> and I had some raspberries and strawberries. That's it. The next day, leaving out, I started good. I said I was going to, you know, get back on track. I bought little Smokies. Um, I st we were still eating the wraps. And um, we leave town, you know, eight-hour drive. I ended up having some more chips and some chocolate the um, Hershey's um, Pop Rocks chocolate. I have a few pieces of that. So my intentions were to fast from Sunday to yesterday. I didn't eat yesterday until like one or two o'clock. So I like fasted from like seven, between seven and eight o'clock that night to like two o'clock in the afternoon. We did go donate on Monday. At the donation place, I weighed in, but I weighed myself before I left. The donation place weighed me at 267, so I saw it on the scale. <coughs> and I didn't eat until after I donated. <coughs> but when I weighed myself at home before I got to the donation center, I weighed in at 263.6. And that's where I'm holding this morning, 263.6. So I gained 3.6 pounds. Was it what I ate? Partially because it was carbs and I'm retaining water. 
Was it because of the inflammation of the drive? Definitely being in a seated position and only getting out to gas up, which we only gassed up twice going and twice coming home. Um, I've been looking on YouTube for um, zero carb days and things like that, zero carb meals. And i trying to figure out how I'm going to, you know, take the rest of this to my birthday. So today, um, I'm prepared. I have my uh, keto chow shake already prepared. I did that last night. I found some new flavor uh, circle cartridges. This one is uh, a sweet tea. I have my circle here that I'm going to fill that up with. I have a orange citrus uh, element in here. And in the bag for lunch, I have six ounces of ground beef with the salsa that I made before I left. Um, I have maybe two to three ounces of shredded cheese on top of that. I'm gonna put that in the microwave to have on my lunch break. And I have the little Smokies. So that's what I have brought with me today. We are going to start off fresh. We are going to try to stick to low to zero carb as possible. Once I figure everything out, we'll get it together. So as of right now, I'm at work. I'm in the work parking lot. I'm gonna start till seven. So I'm gonna sit in here. I'm gonna chill. I got the baby back there. And, um, yeah so that was our weekend in utah um besides everything else you know yeah i feel bad that i went off track but i didn't think it was that bad but you know 3.6 pounds is terrible because i was down at 257 before we even went on a trip and when we left, I was 260. So 3.6 pound gain over the weekend. It's not as bad as I was expecting, but it still ain't the best. Anywho, um, we did laundry yesterday. We also did some grocery shopping. Only bought chicken quarters. Because um, we used a lot of the stamps in Utah. Um, I don't get that much as it is anyway, but... It is something, and it's a blessing just to get that. Anyway, um, I am going to cut this portion here. I wanted to keep you guys updated on what's going on. And um, I'm going to end this video. I just wanted to do a quick update about the weekend. And when you see me again, I will be in this attire. Because we're going to do a daily vlog of what I eat in a day. But today... So, but you already know what I'm going to eat because I already just told you here. I'm rambling. Bye, guys.